I'm heading to bars that I've rescued with the most delusional owners to test the concepts I put in place and determine if they maintain their success or led the bar to failure. Dimple's owner, Sal, has fallen back into alienating women with his jackass remarks. Tara's a horny broad, guys. If you're hungry, here she is. But that's no longer the biggest threat to his livelihood. All of a sudden, I get this notice. It's 60 days. You have to vacate. The whole couple of blocks have been bought. The owner has decided to tear it down and build a big apartment complex. And I've got nothing to say. All right, what's our, what's our plan? The plan is to find another place. Naturally, I want to stay in this area here. Sal is devastated that we got the 60-day notice. I mean, this is his life. He's here six, seven days a week from open to close. You know, this is his home. So what happens if we don't find a place in 60 days? We still days? keep looking. Since the bar rescue came here, we've been doing wonderful. Uh, about $5,000 a month more than we usually make. But by having to look for another club, I'm losing about you know, 300, $400,000. To buy something in 60 days puts pressure on you and you have no negotiation power. If we ever do close, which is the probability, we just wait and wait until we can make a better uh, choice. <laughs> Being in business here at Dimples in 32 years and doing the same thing every night, it's quite devastating to get a notice to tell me, you gotta move in 60 days. I have to get rid of all this. It's impossible. I feel terrible for Sal, but if he had listened to me, he'd be in a much stronger position to afford a new place. My new cocktail and food menus helped him increase his revenue a bit, but he offset a lot of that with the crap he brought back into the bar and his refusal to stop perving on his customers, which means he can't get butts in seats. Sal's in limbo, and so is my judgment. So the jury is out on dimples. I gotta go eat. So you guys gotta get your out of here now. You know, we put a lot of work into that place. And just to see it go up in flames, that was bull. When are you gonna? When are you gonna, sister?